Welcome to Daily Success. Listen in on these personal conversations with today's leaders, innovators, and influencers as they discuss daily success principles, systems, and solutions. Get ready for daily success. Now, here's your host. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Patzer, and I'm really excited because today I'm going to be introducing you to Jenny Edwards. Jenny Edwards was loving life in San Diego, and she has been living out her passion professionally since 2007 as the owner of Guided by Imagination. She works with people to empower them in front of the camera, share their unique message, and be more memorable while making an impact in the world. In her best-selling book, Empowered You, Jenny helps readers activate their best self to live their most fulfilled life, as well as being present in the moment. As a community leader of several business groups and women's groups, Jenny utilizes the power of networking and building relationships to separate herself from the competition. She also teaches storytelling and visibility to entrepreneurs, interviews global leaders to inspire her tribe, and is always ready for a red carpet moment, meeting a change maker to share their vision on video. Her key to success is to make every day a celebration by having gratitude, sharing joyful moments, and focusing on what's important in life. And I'll say that is daily success. And Jenny's cool daily success giveaway is monetize your message with your dynamic story, the hero's journey formula, and inspiration session. So, wow. So I just want to attest to the fact that you are someone you always have joy and you always have that smile and you have that effervescent bubbly personality that just makes me happy whenever I see you Jenny I'm just like yay it's Jenny so talk (laughs) more about daily success and and your hero's journey formula and monetizing your message just spill it (laughs) <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, so yeah, obviously storytelling is a big part of it for being visible and being memorable. So, uh, really starting to get in alignment with the values that you want to share with your audience. And, uh, depending on what industry you're in, uh, obviously you personally have core values and you want to align with the people, your prospective clients and their core values. And if they're not in alignment, then they're probably not somebody you want to work with, right? <laughs> so a big thing that you teach is about vulnerability. And why is that so important to be vulnerable on camera when you're making videos? Well, it really helps you show up in your your humanness. <laughs> And it helps people really connect and relate to you. So we've all had vulnerable situations in our lives and in our past. And sometimes, depending on what age we were when we, when we went through different obstacles, um, you know, we might have foreseen vulnerability as a weakness. And I am here to make a stand that vulnerability is a strength. <laughs> Because not a lot of people, not everyone anyway, um, can show up in their vulnerable state to really connect with that. You know, sometimes people put up a front, you know, that the, like perfectionism kind of thing, like this is how things should be, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but that's not necessarily the people that you want to like magnetize into your world, right? You want people that are real, that are being real and authentic. And can actually show that, hey, they've gone through these obstacles and really championed these lessons in their lives. And so therefore, I would love to work with them because they have gone through what maybe your prospective client is currently going through. And they can see you as a credible expert. 
that's really interesting because I, I hear it. I don't like my voice. I'll go on camera when I lose some weight. Um, I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. Nobody will listen to me. I have nothing to say. Why should I do that? Isn't that really all about the big F word fear? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> the F bomb. <laughs> So what do we do? Um, how, and I know that if I, just you and your energy, I imagine that when you work with people, it's just like you just melt all that fear away. But what can we do to move past all that fear? Well, you can start doing different activities that help you expand your comfort zone. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. You can expand your comfort zone, you know, whether it be just going out and networking to different types of people and different groups, people that you haven't met. Um, you can, you can start by doing, you know, videos on your phone, recording yourself and, uh, and, or Facebook lives, um, different ways, especially using video, but, in general, like in general, moving past, past the fear, you know, I always like to start my day using affirmations and using affirmations that really call me to be my best self to it. This is part of my daily success habit <laughs> and, and creating like a list of, you know, these things. And that kind of goes back to appealing to the values too. Um, of what's most important and how you can see yourself growing and expanding every single day, little by little. That helps you can move past that fear and really take on the next evolution of you. Well, I think you're right about that because you talked about the values and you talk about telling those real vulnerable stories and when you think about vulnerability and about, you know, moving out of fear, it's a transformational journey that we take. And most of us, if we're trying to work with our clients and customers, we're providing some type of transformation for them. And yet we're terrified to, to show up for who we are, but yet that is who we are and how we can actually help someone else transform. So what are some, some ways that other ways besides in our marketing that we can use our transformational stories just in general to create our daily success or our videos or however we want to show up in the world? Mm -hmm. uh, great question. I would say <clears throat> looking at, looking at your message and so, you know, even if you're not doing video marketing with your storytelling, start making like a story log of, of important things that have happened to you in your life and what you learned from that. And sometimes it's an act of reframing, reframing it into, wow, what did I learn from this that has helped me be a better person? Or, you know, coming from shifting that perspective from a negative into a positive. Like, you know, my parents were got divorced when I was 14 years old. And it was really, really hard for me to go through in that time of my life. And it took me a number of years to reframe it. <laughs> but what I learned from it is it made me be more independent at a younger age. You know, it it, it helped their, you know, relationship to them to move on, to be their best self. You know, I look at it from a different perspective now because I've done a lot of personal development. Um, and I think just even starting with those kinds of stories that you can pull out from your own life and then you can decide, wow, how could I actually use this to start up a conversation with someone at a networking event or a prospective client or, you know, somehow to relate to things that others have gone through as well. When you're talking and I'm listening to, to, to that, and it makes me think a lot about um, the hero's journey 
and I know that that's part of, of what your um, giveaway is, the hero's journey formula, and of course, an inspiration session, which I think is a really nice gift. So we work, I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I know I work a lot with people who are heart-centered or spiritual, or people who are operating from a higher consciousness. Um, what do you, do you have any suggestions for those people about how they can be using video or making connections with with other people in the world? Mhm. Well, I would I cuz part of the formula and this is something that I'll share, you know, when uh your viewers and listeners set up an inspiration session with me is how to really use that formula into their sales conversation. Because obviously, you know, no matter what industry, um, we want to be able to monetize our message and it comes kind of full circle. So not only are you using the, the guidelines of the, you know, the hero's journey formula, but you're also taking, you're taking that prospective client that you're talking with uh, on a journey of not only sharing your story and why that's important to them to relate to, but what you've gone through emotionally, vulnerably, and what brings you into a credibility kind of perspective. And it also helps you see the different levels of commitment. They're called the nine gates of customer commitment and that I'll share. And that is something that really helps you see how people make decisions as well. And that converts into higher, higher sales. It drives more business based on these different levels of commitment. Wow. I want that. (laughs) (laughs) Because I didn't realize that there were like nine different customer commitment gateways or, or whatever and and that's the one thing that is really cool about you, Jenny, is that you put a lot of thought into this process and you're able to convey that in, in what you do with people when they're working on creating these dynamic stories. Because I would say the biggest mistake I see with stories is that people don't always connect, make the connection of the stories they tell with why they're telling the story and why that makes them credible to these potential clients or their clients. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, I, absolutely. Cause you see and hear stories that you're like, why is this person, what's the point? <laughs> well, that, I, I always wonder that because you go to conferences and they'll tell you, you know, be vulnerable and so people will end up telling uh, the probably the most vulnerable story in their whole arsenal of all the stories and it may or may not be the best story to tell to make you connect w- with an audience and yeah you have a system for for determining which story to tell because you know sometimes people will tell these really really awful awful stories you know And they may or may not connect Um, because sometimes I don't know that your story has to be the most awful story of anything that ever happened to you. It could be like, like one of my favorite stories about myself, for example, is the fact that I was an entrepreneur from an early age and I used to sell greeting cards to the lady next door. and, And then later I, I picked worms, meaning I literally watered the yard and went out and picked night crawlers up and sold them three dozen for a dollar. And the (laughs) people would come to my house at five o'clock in the morning and I'd be out there in my nightgown, you know, with my little worms, you know, making money. And that's how I ended up going to Disneyland. Wow, that's awesome. That's that's a, a transformational story because it shows, you know, initiative, but it's not like an awful story. You know, it's actually kind of a, wow, that's amazing kind of too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause of course you got, and, and I'm not kidding the worms, you know, we're talking night crawlers. Those are those <laughs> fat, wiggly worms. How old were you? Um, between about 14, 15. 
Um, but I'll tell you, it, it, I ended up wholesaling them to the Benny Nesbaum who owned the Chevron station, and he put them into a, a, dis, a cooler, you know, a pop machine, an old pop machine, and people could go buy the worms out of the machine. Now that stuff is common, but this was in the 70s. So, so that was pretty innovative back then, you know, to, to be selling worms out of a vending machine. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. That is innovative. <laughs> but I, I think about some of the things, you know, and I also knew early on that I was not meant to work at the Dairy Queen because I lasted two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, my check for $16, I said, I can mow the lawn for $3.75 a cut. And back then I could buy 501 Levi's for $3.75 at the workhorse. So it was like mow the yard for a pair of jeans or, or go and work like 20 hours at the Dairy Queen. And yeah. I had to mow the yard every time because, yeah. you know, smart it, entrepreneur says a lot, but I think what you're talking about, the hero's journey and the nine customer um, buying points, and that's something that you actually, when you meet with someone, you'll take the time to, to w walk them through so that they can understand how this hero's journey applies to them. Yeah, exactly. Knowing, I think it starts, the key is know your audience. You know, who are you talking to? And what are their values and how can you use your stories, different aspects of things that you've, that you've undergone in life to appeal to those values and connect more deeply and also letting go of like blame or shame that you've experienced regarding those situations, because those people might have experienced those very same emotions and when you are able to show up in that way to, sh to share that, it really means a lot. Well, I really like that. I, I like the idea that, that you're going to walk people through to get that clarity. I love the nine gates of customer commitment. I just, it's something about it. I just visualize the gates opening. For some, <laughs> some ah. And then the hero's <laughs> journey, because I, I think everyone is a hero in their own way, you know, the fact that we're living and existing and, and trying to just figure all this stuff out. And I also think what's really important about what you bring to the table with your monetizing your message with your dynamic story is that not only can you use this to make videos, but you can use it for your stage speaking. And even like you said, when you're out just networking or talking like on a, on a Zoom call, if you can understand this power, it, that's really phenomenal. And I, I just am so happy that you decided to, to share that on the Daily Success Evergreen Giveaway because um, the cool thing about it is that people, you know, they can get a little taste of meeting you here with this video interview, but then they can experience your giveaway and, you know, get to know you a little bit better and, and move from there. Because what you offer just in terms of, you know, helping people to understand that, that's just phenomenal value and it really matches with daily success. That's what's so exciting to me. So before I let you go, is there anything you'd just like to add um, about uh, your Hero's Journey formula and your inspiration session? Well, yeah, I, I was just going to first talk. I always will remember you and Nightcrawlers. <laughs> I'll never forget that now, Tammy. <laughs> so, so I would say to the viewers, yeah, take this opportunity because these are things that you're going to, that you're going to learn about yourself that you can easily implement to any type of marketing, even if you're not doing video marketing yet. Um, you can, you can always utilize this information. It's really, it's really powerful. And I would love to chat with you more. Well, I certainly am excited. And do you have your uh, website address handy that you can share with everyone? 
Yeah. So the link for the, so it's your dynamic story.com. And then you can actually get the free gift at your dynamic story.com slash heroes journey. Oh, okay. Your dynamic story.com heroes journey. Perfect. So thank you so much, Jenny. I, I appreciate it. And um, I'm really happy that you're participating in daily success. Thank you, Tammy, for this opportunity. Bye, everyone. This is Tammy Patzer, and you too can have daily success. You've been listening to Daily Success. Tune in again and subscribe. Never miss a moment of daily success.